Okay, so right now I'm just going to go over a couple very basic features of the uh, the Boss uh, Micro BR. And right now I'm going to show you my signal chain. Uh, right now I have the uh, Boss unit plugged into uh, my guitar, which is the ESP LTD Viper 330 with active pickups. So I got the guitar plugged in through the cable into this. Then I have uh, the USB and a uh, dual um, audio uh, cable. So uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, I actually, actually took out one of the batteries that came with the unit just to show that it can operate uh, strictly through USB power. So we'll just uh, plug in the USB right now and uh, we'll plug in the uh, line input too since my computer has a dedicated line input uh, jack. And we'll press on. Now this isn't a default option. You have to actually go into the settings to change that, um, which I'll show you in a sec. You can actually hear the unit like whirling up. There's my guitar sound. but. Uh, We'll turn that down so I can show you guys uh, a real quick menu option, which I think is very, very useful with this unit. So you go to menu, then you go down to, uh, to function right here, hit enter, go down to USB, which is right here, enter. And there's uh, two different modes to use for USB. There's um, the default mode, which is uh, storage, which allows you to access the SD card whenever you plug it in. And then there's uh, audio, which allows you to actually operate the unit if it's plugged into the USB. So, also keep in mind when you uh, change these settings, you have to restart the unit for it to work. So, but since mine's already set to audio, I don't have to futz with any of that stuff. So, right now, we have the unit set on E-band, which is just like the uh, little drum track uh, jam thing we do, Bob. And uh, basically, I have it set to a setting called Fast Rock, which is in the key of D. And uh, the, uh, uh, I guess like the tone template is called Meltdown. And I'll just let you listen to the little jam track. So we'll hit play. Just a little 12 second thing, but do bop. Alright, so we'll bring my guitar in, which, by the way, you can actually uh, play a guitar without uh, the need for the uh, accompaniment, you know. And uh, keep in mind, all the audio is coming from my uh, computer speakers. So, which you can also control the output of everything through the two volumes. You can control the guitar output through here, and then you can control the overall output through here. So, uh, let's just uh, play it so you guys can get an idea of what that sounds like. A little, oops, sorry. Now the guitar is a little too loud, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn it down a bit. So we're going to set the recording level to about 63. It's a little too low, so we'll actually, I think my preferred setting is about 70 to 80%. So.
a little too high. So you can just actually turn, you can actually tune it on the fly. So. tell my timing really needs some work um, I was just kind of winging it but anyway um, we'll just show you some of the quick little presets here I'll turn my guitar down um, what you'll do uh, if you want to change the song you just go here and uh, just go to all songs hit enter and you can uh, scroll through them with a the scroll wheel or uh, just hold that button down and, and uh, it'll just go through all the settings and you got like rock metal um, let's scroll through, you got pop, ballads, blues, country, surf rock, soul, uh, jazz, latin, electro, and you can also do it by genre, I think, too. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess not. But anyway, um... Yeah, it's very much it. But also, if you want to change the actual tone, you go to Cosm, C-O-S-M, right here. And right now it's on uh, Meltdown, so you hit uh, Enter. Not Enter, but the right thing. You can change it. One of my personal favorites is Tone Journey, so... So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's how you do that, so... Once that's done, you can just hit Enter. 
or not enter, but exit, sorry. And then you got the uh, thing for that. Now keep in mind, some of the patches are a bit louder or quieter than others. So you'll have to readjust the uh, input so that way it's not overpowering or you get lost in the mix. You can't even hear me, so. So just to give you an idea, the uh, default setting had me turn the volume down to about 75%, but this one is around, I think, 85. No, it was 90. 90 something, like 93. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can go through all the different old drum settings. There's also like a bunch of vocal stuff on here too. Um, but like I said, there's simply just too much stuff to cover in one video, but I just wanted to show you a little something something to help get you started. So uh, once you get that all taken care of, you can uh, just go and do your own thing. You can also hit record too to record yourself jamming along and all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is the Andy song. Signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my uh, unboxing and uh, quick usage of the Boss Micro BR, also known as the uh, Boss BR80. And I also got to thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys.